Edexcel GCSE Unit 3, March 2013, question 19. This question is obviously five marks, so it's a wee bit more involved. We're given some distances on the triangles, all of which are right angle triangles, and we're asked to work out the distance of DP. So basically, what can we work out first of all? Well, we're given three centimetres here and four, so we can work out the hypotenuse. So if we work out AC, if we work out AC, we have 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to the square in the hypotenuse. And if we then find the square root of it, we end up with 5. Now, many of you will know a 3, 4, 5 triangle anyway. This is the calculation for it. So we now know that this side is 5 centimetres. At this point, we now have another right angle triangle, ACD. So we can work out the length of AD. If we have the length of AD, we simply do 5 squared, add it to 2 squared, and then again find the square root giving us an answer of root 29. This doesn't simplify any further, so it's best to leave it as root 29 so you don't have any rounding errors. So at this point, we now need to work out the length of DP. We're going to use trigonometry. So, so, katoa, so katoa. We need to first of all work out this angle so that we can use it in the triangle. Now we know that opposite over adjacent is tan. So if we're at the angle here, we can say that tan of the angle is equal to opposite, which is 3, over 4. So that means that the angle is equal to the inverse of tan of 3 quarters. In the same way, we're going to do the exact same process for this angle. So we have tan of theta equal to 2 over 5. Theta is equal to the inverse of two-fifths. We now need to use this value in trying to work out the length of dp. So basically we have opposite, which is dp, and we have hypotenuse, da, or ad, because we've just worked it out. So therefore we use sine. So we have sine of the angle, which in this case are the two parts that we've just worked out. So we've got tan to the negative one of two fifths added to tan to the negative one of three quarters. And that is equal to opposite, which is dp, over hypotenuse which we worked out to be root 29. We now need to rearrange all of this. So we end up with dp equal to root 29 multiplied by sine of these angles. You could work out each of these individually, but so that we don't have any rounding errors, it's probably best to keep it the same. When we work all of this out in our, using our calculators, we get a value of 4.6 centimetres.